I'm sitting here and I'm kind of like doing a study that uh, in the wee hours of the night, I I ask God, I say, Father, I don't know. I just needed a, new, a conversation between me and my God that <laughs> nobody is talking about. I just wanted to go deep, calling deep with my father, with my spirit, with my creator. And I asked him to give me a revelation, you know, because it's like I needed to refresh something within me. And I wanted God, I don't know if I was, look, you need to get down. I don't know if I was asking God to just confirm that you're here with me. I Because cause I'm going through, you know, I guess we all going through situations some are coming out of their situations, praise God. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm still in my situation. Thanking for the day that <laughs> let's go on to the next one. Let's get this over and go on to the next one. But in the wee hours of the night, again, I ask God, you know, talk to me. Just confirm to me that you're here and... I just, I don't know. I don't, he don't have to tell me he here. I know he here, but I needed to talk to my father and I told him to give me a fresh revelation. Hatchet, please get down. Thank you. Hey, man. I'm feeling touchy right now, but excuse me, but. I had to get in the word. I guess I got a phone call and that phone call was too deep for me and I didn't want it to take me where I didn't want to go. So I continued where I was from last night because I said I was going to get in the word and research what God told me and what God told me in the wee hours of the night. I asked him to please give me a revelation that, you know, just just to give me something fresh. I don't want to hear everything that's already I need I need to get something from you to me specifically because God is good as at giving us you know fresh matter will you stop biting that go somewhere sit down go sit down Woo. and 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 he was faithful, you know, God was faithful to do it. So the revelation that was given to me last night was, okay, he, Gus, I mean, I don't know if I was dreaming and I know I, I wasn't dreaming. I know I wasn't dreaming, but I asked for this and he faithfully gave it. I, I, he said that in winter time, wow, this, this is something else, but that's why I was in the word today. So I could be able to confirm, you know, show me in the word, something that can back this up. What you told me, what I believe you told me. So what came to my spirit in the wee hours of the night last night was that God, God told me that. In winter time, when the leaves be falling down off of trees, that's telling me, let me see, how did I really write? How did I write this down? He told me that leaves fall because the earth drained it. Wow. The leaves fall because mother earth was drained and and i'm like oh my gosh how why what do you mean and 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 then i got specific examples of what they what god was meaning by that he said greedy energy change you know the leaves change color and they fall because of greedy energy 
the earth, the world has drained Mother Earth of her of the energy. And oh, this this something else. I don't I you know to imagine Mother Earth every season. And God had us, we call it seasons. But during winter time, because of the out of balance, the the unequal frequency, the 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 energies aren't feeding, aren't giving life. The majority of the world isn't giving the energy that Mother Earth needs to keep her leaves replenished and green with life. So every winter, the leaves change colors and they fall because of the greedy energy that the world has been draining Mother Earth nature of. So after winter, we get spring. So to me, but before I get to that, before I get to that, let me, let me, the, 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 the scriptures that kind of back that up was the Bible say that when we're following God, following our spirit, our intuition, we're like a tree planted by the waters whose leaves do not wither. And that's in Jeremiah 17 verses 7 and 8, where when we're following God, staying in harmony with the energy of Mother Nature, with the creator in sync we're like a tree planted by the water whose leaves do not wither so that let you know there is a frequency of mother nature where her leaves are not falling off and withering Another scripture that kind of backed that up was Revelation 22, verse 2, where the Bible say that when the new earth come, there will be trees on both sides of a river. And that tree will bear fruit every month and the leaves are for healing. So that's letting us know that the leaves are not withering, are not falling off. They're, pro they're promoting life. They're for life. They're for healing. Something else God added to that where I, I looked up Google and ask Google about in winter, do the leaves wither? And they gave the explanation. And then they said something that added to the revelation of what God was telling me is that the roots and the bulbs underground stay alive. So that's letting us know even more. We have what we need on the inside. We, we're God. He, it, the spirit is there. It's not going anywhere. You are God no matter what. But are you allowing your leaves to stay green? Are we allowing the leaves of our lives to bring healing? Are we allowing the spirit within to bring about that healing to the outer? It's not going anywhere. It's there. I don't care what vibration level we're on. The spirit of God is still there. But are we not allowing it to grow above ground, only below ground that within is staying alive? 
because that's not going anywhere. Whether we partake of it or not, God is there. And and the uh, let me see what else I added. Oh yeah, and then oh wow, Father, and then what make it so beautiful to show you how forgiving and how merciful and loving our Spirit, the Father, the Creator is. Every time spring come around. It's like we have a chance. That's if we're not connected. That's if we're not on the same frequency of love and peace and, and joy of God. The high standards, the high vibrating life style of God. That's if we're not on that high vibration. That every spring, God gives us an opportunity to do it over again and that's like the ever for the, the forgiving loving merciful goodness of God we have chances to do this thing over and over again so what God showed me revealing about winter is that mother nature has been drained from the greedy energy of the world. And winter, by her leaves falling off and changing colors, that's allowing the newness to come about. It's like she have to go in and go within herself to bring about new life. We have to go within to keep that life building and growing where our leaves don't wither. We have to get it from within. That root is alive and we have to stay connected to it. To have a life of spring no matter what it looks like on the outside, that inner side is still alive. And that spring represents the opportunities to get this thing right over and over again. The love, the mercy, the forgiveness, the goodness of our creator. We're one with God. And he give us the opportunity to be more like him, to be in his image more and more every day, all day. Let me see if there's anything else that I need to pick up on that I wrote down. But yes, that's it. So, food for thought. Food for a revelation, food for elevation. Let us stay connected and grow, build as a life of spring. And even when winter come, we don't have to be drained and, and just you know, of, of, of all of the energies that pull from us. We can stay connected, stay alive. All right. Have a blessed day.